ऑर्थोगोनल सेट के बाद एक स्वरम है स्वरम वन ऑर्थोगोनल सेट क्या है लेट एस बी सेट ऑफ वेक्टर्स इन एन इनफ्लोरेंस स्पेस बी देन एस इज सेट टू बी एन ऑर्थोगोनल सेट प्रोवाइडेड दैट एनी टू डिस्टिंक्ट वेक्टर्स इन एस आर ऑर्थोगोनल नेक्स्ट देयर इज अ थ्योरम लेट एस इज इक्वल टू अल्फा और अल्फा टू कोन अल्फा बी एन ऑर्थोगोनल सेट ऑफ नॉन जीरो वेक्टर्स इन एन इनफ्लोरेंस स्पेस बी तो इसके सारे वेक्टर्स ऑर्थोगोनल हैं इट मींस एनी टू वेक्टर्स विल बी ऑर्थोगोनल टू ईच अदर इफ वेक्टर बीटा एंड वी इज इन द लीनियर स्पैन ऑफ एस देन बीटा कैन बी रिटन एज समेशन के इज इक्वल टू 1 टू एम इन अ प्रोडक्ट बीटा अल्फा के बाय नॉर्मल अल्फा के स्क्वायर इनटू अल्फा के शायद ये हो गया है बट फिर से कर देते हैं सिंस बीटा बिलोंग्स टू एलएस Uh, therefore, beta can be expressed as a linear combination of the vectors in S. Let us mean linear span of S. Let beta is seven alpha one plus c two alpha two plus one plus three m alpha m means beta is written as a linear combination of vectors in S. So this can be written as summation j is equal to one to m c j alpha j. We have for each k we are one less than or equal to k less than or equal to m. In a problem beta alpha k will be summation. इन प्रोडक्ट समेशन जे इज वन टू एम सी जे अल्फा जे अल्फा के बीटा की वैल्यू सिंपली यहाँ पे सब्सिट्यूट कर देना सो इट विल बी योर समेशन जे इज इक्वल टू वन टू एम सी जे इन प्रोडक्ट अल्फा जे अल्फा के सी जे कॉन्स्टेंट हो गया एंड यूजिंग लीनियरिटी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इन प्रोडक्ट स्पेस सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज सी के There is is equal to CK into alpha 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 K alpha K. Why? Because alpha J and alpha K, they are orthogonal if J is not equal to K. And if orthogonal, then in a product alpha J alpha K will be zero if J is not equal to K. On some with respect to J, note that S is an orthogonal set of non-zero vectors, and so in a product alpha J alpha K will be zero if J is not equal to K. So we have only one option CK in a product alpha K alpha. K. No alpha k is non-zero vector, therefore inner product alpha k alpha k will not be equal to zero. Thus, normal alpha k square is not equal to zero. Therefore, c k, यहाँ से c k can be written as inner product beta alpha k by normal alpha k square because this is normal alpha k square. One less than or equal to k less than or equal to m. Now substitute these values of c one c two so on c and m in equation one. Then you get beta is equal to summation k is equal to one to m. इनर प्रोडक्ट बीटा अल्फा के बाय नॉर्मल अल्फा के स्क्वायर इनटू अल्फा के देखो ये इनर क्वेश्चन में रखने से हमको मिल जाएगा यहां पर रखने से वैल्यू नेक्स्ट देयर इज थ्योरम एनी ऑर्थोगोनल सेट ऑफ नॉन जीरो वेक्टर्स इन एन इनर प्रोडक्ट स्पेस बी इज लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट देखते हैं लेट एस बी एन ऑर्थोगोनल सेट ऑफ नॉन जीरो वेक्टर्स इन एन इनर प्रोडक्ट स्पेस बी Let S one is equal to alpha one, alpha two, one, alpha m be a finite subset of S uh, containing m distinct vectors. Let summation J is equal to m uh, C J alpha J is equal to C one alpha one plus one plus C M alpha m. This is equal to zero vector. We have for each k. Where one less than or equal to k less than or equal to m, summation j is equal to one to m c j alpha j alpha k will be summation j is equal to m c j in a product alpha j alpha k. So this will be equal to c k in a product alpha k alpha k because for all other values of j not equal to k in a product alpha j alpha k will be zero. So this is equal to c k normal alpha k square. But from one summation j is equal to m. Is equal to one to m. C j alpha j is equal to zero vector. Therefore, summation j equal to one to m. C j alpha j alpha k will be zero alpha. This is your zero. Therefore, it implies that C k normal alpha k square is equal to zero. One less than or equal to k less than or equal to m. And it implies that C k is equal to zero. From here, since alpha k is not zero, therefore normal alpha k square will not be zero. Therefore, this is zero only when this constant C k is zero. Means C one, C two, C three, so on, C M all are zero. Therefore, the set S one is linearly independent. Thus, every finite 
subset of s is linearly independent therefore s is linearly independent so ye ho gaya this is your second theorem <coughs> now there is a concept of orthonormal set uh, see its definition let us be a set of vectors in an inner product space p then s is said to be an orthonormal set if these two conditions are satisfied first if alpha belongs to s then it implies that norm alpha equal to 1 yani ki inner product alpha alpha equal to 1 hona chahiye pehla condition second alpha beta belongs to s And alpha is not equal to beta. It implies that in a product alpha beta is equal to zero. The orthonormal set here, but here alpha is not equal to beta. Thus, an orthonormal set is an orthogonal set hai, with the additional property that each vector in it is of length one. From here, our vector is made. What happened? Length one got made, and in a product alpha beta is zero when alpha is not equal to zero. So it is orthogonal set with each vector. Having unit length. In other words, a set S consisting of mutually orthogonal unit vectors is called an orthonormal set. The so, orthogonality भी आ गया, unit vectors भी आ गया. So orthogonal भी है, unit भी है, तो orthonormal हो गया. Obviously, an orthonormal set cannot contain zero vector. Why? Because norm of zero is equal to zero. It should be one for an orthonormal set, but it is equal to zero. So this zero vector cannot be in orthonormal set. A finite set S equal to alpha one alpha two one alpha n is also normal if inner product alpha i alpha j is equal to delta i j, where delta i j is equal to one if i equal to j and delta i j is equal to if i is not equal to j. So in short, we can write this. After that, see the existence of an orthonormal set. Every inner product space B, which is not equal to zero space. Possesses an orthonormal set. Okay, let alpha belongs to B and this alpha be not equal to zero. Then norm alpha is not zero. The set alpha by norm alpha containing only one vector is necessarily an orthonormal set. We have inner product alpha by norm alpha. Alpha by norm alpha is equal to one by norm alpha. Inner product alpha is alpha by norm alpha. This is equal to one by norm alpha into one by norm alpha into inner product alpha alpha. So this is one by norm alpha square into norm alpha square. This is equal to one. So this is of unit length, and it has only one vector. So it means every inner product which is not equal to zero subspace possesses an orthonormal set. Now it is clear. Next there is a theorem. Let S is equal to alpha one alpha two one alpha m be an orthonormal set of vectors in an inner product space B. If a vector beta is in the linear span of S, then beta is equal to summation k equal to one to m beta alpha k inner product beta alpha k into alpha k. This case, the norm alpha k is equal to, but norm alpha k will be one because it is an orthonormal set, so beta can be written as this way. लिखते So it is equal to summation j equal to one to m c j in a product alpha j alpha k by linearity property, and it is equal to summation j is equal to one to m c j delta j j because this is your delta j j since s is an orthonormal set. So it is equal to c k uh, because for j equal to k delta uh, delta j k is one otherwise it is zero so its value is k c k. Putting the values of c one c two so on. Pm in one, we get beta is equal to summation k equal to one to m in a product beta alpha k to alpha. Now the c k value we got is we have to substitute here. So this is our theorem. This is our proof. One more theorem is here. Let's 
इसको भी देख लेते हैं हम जल्दी से हो जाएगा If S is equal to alpha when alpha to sun alpha and we can also know that this is E and if beta belongs to E then gamma can be written as beta minus summation I equal to one then beta number of beta alpha I alpha I is orthogonal to E top alpha when alpha to sun alpha I and consequently to the subspace expand by S. Meaning this vector is orthogonal to alpha when alpha to and sun alpha I and also it is orthogonal to the subspace expand by S. Let's see. We have for each k where less one less than or equal to k less than or equal to m in our product gamma alpha k is equal to in our product gamma k value is beta minus summation i equal to one to m in our product beta alpha i alpha i alpha k. So this is equal to in our product beta alpha uh, beta alpha k and minus uh, in our product summation i equal to one to m in our product beta alpha i alpha i. Alpha k by linearity property. So this is equal to about know, beta alpha k minus uh, summation. This will be you can take out i equal to one beta in you know, about beta alpha i into in you know, about alpha i alpha k by linearity property. So this is equal to uh, in you know, about beta alpha k minus summation i equal to one in you know, about beta alpha i into uh, delta i k because this belongs to ortho Uh, normal set. Here it is given that this is an orthonormal set. So uh, this is equal to inner product beta alpha k minus inner product beta alpha k because delta i k is one if i equal to k otherwise zero, and this is equal to zero. So inner product gamma alpha k is zero means gamma is orthogonal to alpha k. Uh, so it is orthogonal to each of the um, Uh, of the vectors alpha and alpha to one alpha. Mm. Hence the first part of the theorem. Now let delta be any vector in the subspace spanned by S. Let us say delta belongs to S. Then delta can be written as some sort of high equal to one to m a i alpha i, where h p i is some scalar. Now we need to find in our gamma delta, and if it is zero, then gamma i. Orthogonal to this uh, subspace. So this inner product gamma delta is equal to inner product gamma. The summation i equal to one to m a alpha i. This is equal to summation i equal to one to m a i bar. Inner product gamma alpha i by the uh, property of the inner product space. So this is equal to summation i equal to one to m a i bar zero, and this is equal to zero because. In our product gamma alpha is zero because gamma and alpha they are orthogonal, so it is zero. It means gamma is orthogonal to every vector delta in LS. Means linear span. Therefore, gamma is orthogonal to LS. So this is also proved. आज के लिए इतना ही यहाँ तक. अगर कोई क्वेरी तुम लोग की है, तो मुझे क्वेश्चन पूछो.